Yo, what's up, gamers? We're back again with some news. News of the week. News for Blizzard. Season of Discovery. All things wow. But uh, let's jump in. <laughs> I want to talk about a few different things, of course. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go over the news. Um, I might talk about some different comments, different things. Uh, but jump in. Um, of course, on April 9th, there was a bunch of hot fixes that went in. Huge announcement for Blizzard. Um, now that the, they're having a, a partnership renewal with NetEase to get World of Warcraft back into China. So, Terrace Land, uh, you're in for trouble, buddy. Uh, that paid to win the memo. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Future plans for China servers. Yep. Ooh, there's the DPS rankings. Oh, Hunter's still at the top, huh? We can see, what did I have? Oh, yeah, there they are. So Hunter, DPS, Rogue, Enhancement, Shaman. It's, yeah, it looks like the same. It looks pretty much the same. Um, Mage is still down at the bottom. Yep, Mage is still at the bottom. Yeah, it's looking about the same all in all. There has been a lot of different hotfixes for some of the classes. Um, a lot of people aren't happy. <laughs> all the uh, end game recipes have been figured out. Um, pretty much all the bosses have strategies now on Wildhead that you can go look up to. So um, now that everybody complained that everything was too hard, now everything is uh, apparently too easy. There too. Ooh, there's a quest to give alchemists thirty percent chance to craft bonus potions and elixirs. We need that. Ooh, you get a little wind serpent pet. That's pretty cute. World core fragment hotfix. Oh, is that for the warlocks? I don't know a lot about that actually. All I know is that my buddy <laughs> sent his little imp in and got his fell guard level fifteen. That was super cool. We had a lot of fun with that. Um, dark mood card class tweaks. Yeah, I think this is what they were complaining about the class tweaks. Let's see rogue cheap shot oh, We don't care about that. Ooh, ooh combat potency and daily brew can no longer proc from fiery weapon procs That's not a big deal shamans, okay This correctly restores 2% of the shamans total mana. Okay, so they I don't know if they're not saying if that was a buff or a nerf. Um, you have access to rank four fire nova. Yeah, they're just they're just buffing shamans. Shamans are OP and uh lions, we don't have shamans. We're kind of screwed. Having a shaman would be make it so much easier. Uh, warlock fixes, warrior fixes, nothing too crazy, it looks like right there, actually. Oh, more tuning? More tuning, huh? Let's see. Druid, school bash, rune, rem wait, move to the hand slot. Oh yeah, this is what people were complaining about. Because they have some other good rune that's on their hand slot, and they're like, now we have to choose whether to have an interrupt or to have one of our best spells. So that seemed like a stupid move to do that. Um, apparently warriors are having that same kind of issue with their runes too, where they have like one rune that's like really good for pvp and another rune that's really good for damage and it's like most people are going to choose the damage rune you know um <laughs> sacrifice that pvp rune for more damage focus attacks on generates three additional energy so they change that up cool cool shaman buffs i'm over it <laughs> see nightmare resonance crystal allows picking herbs really so what about the mining nodes? Because there's, everybody's a dang herbalist. I swear on my life. Because when I did those nightmare crews, I never found any. If I ever did see an herb, somebody was already picking it. So, I mean, now that the, everybody pick it, so there's literally going to be nothing. Why don't they make it, can we not mine the other things? Should we be able to skin the dragons too for the scales? Why is it just herbalists that get picked on, you know? Um, yeah, strategy guys for all the bosses. Oh, is raiding in Season Discovery too easy? Well, I mean, they literally said that, you know, Season Discovery is for, like, casual, you know? So it's not supposed to be hardcore. 
It'd be cool if they put like a hardcore mode in. I think there should be two modes. There should be normal mode and then challenge mode. Normal mode for normal people and then challenge mode for the sweaty people. If you want to be sweaty, go do challenge mode. You don't get anything out of it. Maybe you get a cool mount, you know, maybe a cool pet, something to show off. But there doesn't need to be anything crazy from the challenge mode. Two modes, normal mode, challenge mode. That's all we need. We don't need regular, normal, mythic, heroic, mythic plus, mythic plus 29. Yeah, we don't need all that. Definitely don't. Um, there's some complaining with the uh, accommodations. I don't know much about that. People just complaining. Um, they increase the stack sizes for these new mojos that you can get. So you can have two mojos now. Um, it's like a buff potion that you can get in Stranglethorn Vale from the Zandalari people. Out on the coastline, you can look that up. Um, wait, alchemists can become both master transmuter and mixologists? Interesting. I might have to look into that too. Oh, and this this was really cool. Meet the Season of Discoveries Gregory, a death knight with his own free will. Um, but he still chooses to follow Arthas. Um, that, that's one really thing I've liked about Season of Discovery. The lore that they're putting in the game is super cool. Um, other than the fact that it's like gated around like specific things. If you're going to put lore in the game, everybody should be able to see it, honestly. Um, yeah, I think there was one other thing on here. No. Um, we'll jump back over to the Reddit. Um, but I'm just looking at this week for the top of the week. 9-11 jokes. People pooping in ZF. People missing phase one. More complaining about how this content was supposed to be easily cleared by semi-casual guilds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's supposed to be easily killed. Um, what was this guy saying? Oh, yeah, this guy was talking about... the stupid flask. Like, they said it was a flask, and then it's an elixir, now it's a flask again. Something. This was the craziest thing. Being able to hide... The flag in Warsong Gulch. There we go, that's better. <laughs> Just by sitting in a bush. Sitting in a bush. Oh, this one was great. <laughs> Sebra is toxic. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Phase two, I blocked 15 accounts. That's crazy. Best in slot paladin legs, huh? That's crazy. The state of pugs. Yeah. I was drunk. This post is crazy. This guy. I mean, he's absolutely right. You can go into Sunken Temple, you could be inebriated, and it's not that hard. This was super cool. Uh, servers getting shut down for Cataclysm, so everybody was like all grouped up. That guy's got Invincible, Invincible. What? What server is that? Is this a retail server? That's getting shut down? That's crazy, actually. Uh, stuff about Guzu, bot standing next to the innkeeper, people saying Blizz is incredibly out of touch, which I think they've been more in touch than they've honestly ever been, making changes like immediately into the game rather than it taking like a month for things to change, like when it does in retail, for whatever reason. They go, like, oh, yeah, we'll just, we'll fix it next expansion, just keep, keep sending this one. We'll make the changes next expansion. That drives me crazy, man. But saying Blizz is out of touch is... I don't know. Where are these people? Are, like, how, how upset do you need to be to make this kind of a post? Like... The devs are responding to people on Twitter. Like, that doesn't happen very often, especially with World of Warcraft. <laughs> This guy's complaining that, that you guys promised us more loot and we haven't got our loot yet. I can't say for sure that like this is wrong or not. I didn't do Nomergon. But, you know, 
Um, I did want to jump into, so on this previous video that I made, this guy said, what do you mean retail takes too long? It takes 10 hours to get max. Then you just do the campaign and dream stuff and you get 415 item level. Then you do raid finder, low level mythics, and then you creep up to do normal raids. Basically all happens instantly. But how can you say that it takes too long and then it also happens instantly at the same time? I'm confused. It takes 10 hours to do the campaign. Well, no, it takes 10 hours to get max level. And then you do the campaign, do the dream stuff, and then you're 415 item level. Honestly, right now, <laughs> I went in and did the raid with my buddy. We bought the gear off the auction house for him to wear so that he could get right into doing LFR. And then we could easily just jump into doing normal. Even normal dungeons give item level enough to go do normal or even heroic. And it's not that hard. And then what's this guy say? Yeah, you got to creep up for a while. You got to do a lot of Mythic Plus and normal and heroic raids until you can finally, hopefully, find a Mythic Guild and actually get the best gear in the game. Why do you need to do Mythic? You don't need to do Mythic raiding. That's for sweaty people. I've done Mythic. Like, I mean, it's not that hard, but like, why, why do I got to get the best gear in the game? And hopefully you can find a guild. Dude, there's plenty of guilds out there. And it's, it's, <laughs> he said, yep, that's why I get, that's why more people like TBC and Classic WoW. There aren't any raid difficulties, and you can if you killed Illidan, I just killed Illidan. I mean, most just go get the ahead of the curve achievement. You don't need to do mythic. I don't know why everybody thinks they have to do. I have to do every single piece of content. I have to have the best gear. Guess what? Like another another raid tier is going to come out right after that one and you'll have to do it all over again just put i mean like if that's your way of having fun you can go and enjoy that way but like this guy's complaining that like i have to do it like i have to go mythic rating if i don't then what's the point right that just blows my mind nobody's forcing you to do that it's just like the nightmare incursions so many people are complaining that Nightmare incursions are the best way to level. That's fine. Nightmare incursions can be the best way to level. Nobody's forcing you to go do it. You do not have to do it. You can go do whatever you want. Like if, because right now, the fastest way to level is by doing ZF over and over and over again. And they want to be like, oh, nightmare incursions are boring. So is doing ZF over and over and over until you're level 50. There's really not much different. <laughs> you're going to have, you're going to want to go do nightmare incursions anyway, so that you can get that pre raid gear or pre PVP gear. That's what this other guy said is that the incursions were a full set of PVP gear. If you look at, at the gear, like it's no different than regular P. Oh, I got logged out, but it's no different than regular like gear from ST anyways. Like ST gear is not even like that much better than that gear. I don't know. Um, yeah, a lot of you guys posted. I haven't been able to reply to everybody. I was mostly just going to make a video. <laughs> this guy, when is it not in shambles? You're right. You're right. Subreddit is devolved. Mm -hmm. Depressing. Um, yeah, you're, this is the testing grounds. I agree. Incursions meaning you hit 50 and still had talent points to spend because it was too fast and was stupid. It's about the journey. Not just running in circles till you pick up items. If you think that was fun, I don't really know what to say. You know, not everybody... <laughs> Some people like mind-numbing activities because we like to do other things. So this is what me and my buddy like to do. We put on a movie. We watch the movie in Discord together while we run around in a circle collecting stuff and leveling up. That's fun. We don't like to 
run from one side of the fucking planet to the other side of the game just to get one quest done. And that was four hours for like four bars of experience. I'd rather, you know, spend my time doing something that's fun and yeah, running in a circle while I'm watching a movie, hanging out with my boys. Yeah, that's fun to me. If you want to, nobody's making you do incursions. You don't have to do the incursions. If you want to go run ZF 50 times in a row over three days, you can go do that. Nobody's stopping you. Nobody's stopping you. Just because it's the best way to do something doesn't mean you have to do it. Doesn't mean you have to do it. Like, people are so obsessed with min maxing that, like, I got to do everything the best way. And if it's not the best way, then I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm only going to do the best way. Fucking people are crazy. <laughs> Making my blood boil. It's about the journey. Okay, dude, you can go. You should do every quest in the game because it's a journey for you. Not everybody wants to do that. Some of us would rather get max level and go raid and do dungeons. We don't care about the other part of the journey. The journey for us is the end game journey where we're doing raids, we're doing dungeons, doing that stuff together. The journey is not fun when I'm a level 20 and my buddy is a level 30 and we can't do anything together because we're so far apart in level. That's not the fun part of the journey. <laughs> Does that make sense? Even if you're, if my buddy is level 37 and I'm level 48, we, there's not really a lot of stuff we can do together besides the nightmare incursions. That's what we did. He was level 37. I was level 48. By the time he got to like level 45, I was level 50 and he only had to do a couple more incursions to get level 50. And then we started doing stuff. It was great. We had a ton of fun. So just to complain, just to complain. You people are crazy. Like, I don't understand. People, people can have fun doing different things. Like a lot of people hate us gamers just because we're gamers. Like I'm not even going to get into that right now. <laughs> Um, it's been 17 minutes. I like to keep my videos under 20 minutes at tops 10. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything I want to go over today there. Um, I hope you guys have a good weekend. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Later. Sorry. It's a goodbye. It's just a goodbye. Forever and ever, you never come back.